Cancer, thanks for visiting. Um, I am back, as you can see, um, and this is your reading for May 6th to May the 12th. Um, and as I always ask you, if you like this reading, uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to. I don't mind whether you do or you don't. I'm happy to have you listening. And I'm just going to start your reading right now for Cancer. So the first card you have for you passed is the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I'm seeing a few things in this card. This is a very confusing card. This card is actually about confusion, um, being unsure of what to do, a lot of mess, not sure what decision to make, all of that kind of thing. I'm seeing a love connection in this card. I'm actually seeing someone who's a little bit, or more than a little bit actually, a bit all over the place. Um, this is like a hot and cold person, someone who's on and off, on and off, hot and cold. It's almost, it's quite extreme actually. It's almost like they have a bit of a split personality. I know that sounds a bit dramatic, um, but that's what I'm seeing, a split personality. Not literally, but it's like, yes, now I'm on, now I'm off, now I'm like this, now I'm not. It's that kind of thing. Um, and I think sometimes, I think sometimes when you're with this person, it feels as if they're totally disinterested. It's like, it's like you feel alone some of the time. Um, you might have been thinking to yourself, you know, I may as well be alone. I'm in this relationship, but it feels like I should be alone. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting around this. But then after you felt like this, then what happens is then they come back and they convince you that they are interested, that they do want to be with you. So that's this hot and cold kind of thing, this split personality thing. And um, I think you were sort of mirroring this as well. It's like when they'd back off, you'd back off, and then they'd be back on again, and you'd be on again. But I mean, that's what you were doing, but it was like an exhausting game. It was very exhausting for you. Um, and I think I'm getting this feeling that you're still going through this, if this is resonating with you. It's ongoing. Um, and I don't want this to be negative, but... Um, if, this, if you're still in the middle of this, as if, if this is resonating with you, just think about how long you want this to go on for because this, this has really been wearing you out and you, know, you can mirror this forever but it's not sustainable. If you want something very serious, which, which I think you are because you're sticking at this, um, you can't go on in that game going backwards and forwards like that. And like I'm not blaming you, it's that they're leading it. But you've got to be the one that's, that has to lead yourself and say enough is enough if this is too much for you because I am seeing this is exhausting you. Um, it's in the past so this might have happened in the past but I am getting this feeling that it might be going on now. So, you know, I don't want to tell you what to do but you can't force people to change. You really, really can't. And um, obviously the way things are aren't working because I'm getting this exhaustion around this, that you're so tired of this. That's what I'm getting. Um, I'm seeing another situation in this card as well. I think there's a bit of work stress or there was a bit of work stress around you. Someone might be watching you a little bit closely. It's like, um, I think someone might be questioning or someone has you questioning yourself, I think. Um, and you might be going along thinking everything's fine and everything's going okay and they kind of throw in a comment. So it's like, it's something like that I think and you're really strong, you're a really strong person, you know you're right, you know you haven't done anything wrong. Um, so it just might not be in your nature to say anything to them. Um, they're definitely underestimating you, it's, it's not your work performance. Your character's very, very, very strong. You're so strong. Um, and they just don't see how strong you are. I think you might be a little bit quiet in your nature and they kind of take that as a weakness. Um, but, um, yeah, if this is all making sense to you, if this is resonating, um, don't change what you're doing. You're not doing anything wrong. You know that. Um, and don't let this person undermine your confidence. I know that's easy to say. But you're already dealing with a lot around this love situation if you're resonating with that. So you just don't need any more stress in your life, really. Um, and it's going to die down eventually, I think. But stay strong. This, that's the message I'm getting in this. Stay strong around this person. Um, you might be quieter than they are, but I think you're stronger than they are. So just keep on, you know, keep your head up and stay strong. That's what I'm getting around that. 
Um, so the next card you have your past is the Five of Pentacles, yes. So, yeah, this is what this was like for you, I think, in this love situation. I really hope you're not still in this, but I'm still getting this impression that you might still be. Um, okay, so this is how I'm seeing this card. I'll tell you how I'm seeing this. These poor people in this card, they're walking around and around this church. They're walking around the building, around and around. They're looking for a way in. It's snowing on the outside. You know, they're looking for warmth. And what I'm seeing is they're walking around and around in the cold. Each time they come back around to where this beautiful window is, it's light and it looks beautiful and it's there, but it's not enough for them. It's not enough to keep them warm and safe. It's not a fire, it's just a window. It's not going to keep them warm. And this is what I mean by hot and cold. You felt as if you're in the cold, walking around and around, looking for warmth with them, looking for love, warmth, kindness. But then, you know, windows are cold and flat. I mean, this window looks beautiful, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't help, it doesn't take action. And you don't want something flat that looks beautiful, but it doesn't do anything. You want something three-dimensional, someone who loves you, someone who physically, mentally, emotionally loves you and is there for you. Um, and that's not what you're getting right now. And the walking around is around, and around is a bit like this cycle where you're on, off. Um, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Um, I'll stop now because I'm getting carried away <laughs> with what I'm with explaining it to you. I hope it makes sense to you. Um, so if you're still with this person. I think you know um, what I think about this person, um, or I shouldn't say that, but you know what I think about this, and and I don't think I don't think they're going to change. Actually, I don't think they're going to change. So yeah, if this is you, if you see yourself in this, please stop walking around this church. Stop going around and around this cycle, this carousel, going around and around. Carousels don't get anywhere. You get on a horse, it goes up and down, it goes round and round. Where does it go? It doesn't go anywhere. So stop walking around this church. Walk past, walk on to something else. Move on. That's the message I'm getting in this card. I know that sounds cringy. I'm sorry about that. So I won't say any more about my analogies. So the last card you have for your past is the Three of Cups. So I think this is about this, yeah, I think this is about this work situation. Um, I'm seeing a few things in here. I know this card's usually about having a happy time and having a party and celebrating. It can be that, but this is what I'm seeing here. If you look at these women on this card, they're all even, they're all the same height, they're all participating equally as a group. Um, nobody's above anyone else. So this person around your work who sort of makes you question yourself, they don't have any right to do that. Uh, I don't think they're your boss. I don't think they have any authority over you. They might think they do, but they don't. So this is what this is telling me. You're equal to them. You do not have to make them feel, They do, you don't have to let them make you feel like that is what I'm trying to say. And you don't have to do what they say. You don't have to answer any of their silly comments or questions. If they question something you're doing, if they ask you, what are you doing that for? Why are you doing that? You don't have to answer them. You can just say, well, that's just what I thought I'd do. Oh, well, you shouldn't do that. You should do this. Oh, well, this is what I'm doing. You know, they don't have any authority over you. Um, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is abundance. So you're actually doing really well at what you do. You also have, I think, um, a lot more going for you, a lot more going on outside of your workplace, I think. You probably have a very, very rich, interesting life outside of your workplace. And this person probably knows that. They see that. They might hear you say, oh, I did this at the weekend. I did that. Um, and I think they probably sense that. And there's some jealousy around that as well. That's what I'm picking up there. Now, yeah, I don't think... The other thing is, I don't think you should take this very seriously. I don't think you should take them very seriously, actually. Obviously, people need to get along in the workplace and you need to be, you know, professional to a certain extent. Everyone has to do that. But these women, you know, they're having fun. They're dancing around. They're drinking wine. Um, I'm not saying you should drink wine in your workplace, but uh, <laughs> you might be tempted with this person around you. I would be if I had them around me. But maybe just try to have a sense of humour around them. 
don't take them too seriously. Just show them that you're not bothered by them, that you think, oh, well, if they say that, you know, if they say, what are you doing that for? Just say, oh, just, you know, make up something silly because there's a banana. Just make up any silly thing and they'll think they'll think you're crazy and they'll probably back off anyway. <laughs> then I, I mean, don't, don't say what I say, but um, they'll probably, you know, I just think you shouldn't take this too seriously. You shouldn't take this person too seriously because really they have no authority over you. They have no authority over you at all. That's just what I'm seeing. I'm sorry I'm so silly. The first card you have for your present is the King of Cups. Um, so yeah, here they are again. Here's this hot and cold person. Look at this. This is hot and cold. Apart from this gold cape that this king's wearing, he's wearing red and blue, hot and cold. This king can also be, you know, he can be a really confusing character. You know, he's holding a cup, um, so he has love, but it's for him. He's not offering it to anyone. He's also surrounded by water. It's like he's on an island. He's isolated. So again, this is showing me that this situation probably won't change. Um, you know, he's he's by himself. It's not going to change. He's not kind of open to change. Um, the strange thing I'm seeing here is that they still have some passion for you. Um, but I think it might have died down a lot um, more from what it was. It was very passionate, but now I don't think it's anywhere near as strong as it once was. Um, you know, there's a red ship to the right of this king. Um, and it's, it's, but it's behind him. So the passion is behind him and it's also sailing away from him. So it's going away. It's not as strong as it was. Um, so again, this is what, you know, I shouldn't tell you what to do, but I really think you should try to move on from this person. I'm seeing that everywhere. Um, I wish I could tell you things are going to change, but I'm really not seeing that anywhere in this reading. So the next card you have for your present is the Four of Cups. Yeah, this is the reading of cups. This is the reading of emotions. This is full of cups. Um, yeah, I don't mean to keep on having a go at this hot and cold person. They might be a bit lazy as well. I mean, they're lazy in their communication, obviously, because they're not um, they're not assuring you. They're not reassuring you of how they are. Because I just think they're all over the place, really. Um, you know, their personality changes. They come back again, and then they go, and then they come back again. All this hot and cold, I'm seeing that again. And, yeah, I don't want to say this, but I'll tell you what I'm seeing. They might even have a lot of um, other options around them as well, and a lot of other love options. Um, I'm not seeing them acting on these options. I think they might be talking to people at this stage, but I'm not seeing anything more serious than that. But I think they just know that these other options are there. Um, because if you look at the man on this card, he's rejecting this cup of water. But he already has a whole lake full of water. You can see it to the left of him. Um, and so it's like, I've got this whole lake full of water. You know, I've got all these options. I've got millions of these options. I can give or take whatever I can. That's the kind of thing I'm getting around that. And, you know, the King of Cups was surrounded by an abundance of water as well. So... Yeah, I'm also getting this, this won't resonate with everyone, but I'm just getting this message. Don't stay in the situation because you're afraid of what else is out there or what else isn't out there. Um, don't just sit around putting up with things just because you don't want to leap into the unknown. Um, this might be a subconscious thing that's going on with you. You might have this subconscious fear because you are in a situation. If this is all resonating, you are in a situation for longer than you should be. It's like you're staying in a situation for a lot longer than you should be in there. Um, and there's some reason why, and it might be that you fear the unknown. If you leave this person behind, what's next? I'm a bit afraid of that. So just keep that in mind. It might not resonate, but just keep that in mind because I just saw that. Um, the last card you have here present is the Two of Cups. So yeah, there are new possibilities for love. There are new possibilities for love in front of you. I am actually seeing, I'm seeing a few possibilities, but there's one very important person. I think this person's right in front of you in some way. Um, and this is, yeah, this is someone who's important. This is someone who you know, I think. I think you've known them for a long, long time. And I think you've had conversations with this person before. I think you've had very deep conversations with them. 
you might have had some very deep intellectual conversations with them. I think you might both be passionate about the same thing. So you've had some very passionate conversations, very deep conversations. Um, and I'm seeing you connecting really deeply on a lot of different levels with this person. I also think they might be connected to your family in some way. They're not a family member, obviously, but um, I think they're probably a friend of the family or something like that. And I'm saying that because this caduceus in the middle of these two cups, it can mean a lot of different things, but I'm seeing this as DNA um, at this time. So I think they have some connection to your family. They're like a friend of your family. Um, yeah, I think this is someone who's a friend. I don't think you see them very often, but you're friends. And uh, I don't think you see them in a romantic way at this time yet. Um, this is someone who you probably never thought of in that way, actually, but you will come to think of them in that, in that way eventually, I think. If you let go of what's going on, um, you know, with this Seven of Cups thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just, I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing something very, very, very strong is ahead of you and you know this person, you know this person. And I just, I think this is another message to tell you, don't be afraid of what's to come, you have better things to come. And um, if you do end up with this person, and I'm seeing there is a good opportunity that you will be in the future, um, you'll have that strong foundation that you built up with them, you'll have that friendship, you'll have that deep, deep connection with them. And that's a very, very beautiful, strong foundation to build a love relationship on too. Those kinds of relationships that go from friendship to love are very, very special. And that's what I'm seeing in the future for you. So the first card you have your future is the Knight of Cups. Um, okay, this, this card, is often about love, it's about love messages. I'm not seeing that here. Um, I'm seeing that there's something that I think you might have been invited to. I think this is some kind of an event. Um, and I think you might have initially accepted this invitation and you were fine, but as the date gets closer and closer, I'm getting this horrible feeling around it. It might be, um, you know, you're becoming less and less enthusiastic about this thing. And you might even be thinking of canceling this. Um, I'm feeling very strongly that you shouldn't cancel, you shouldn't do that um, if this is resonating because there's there's someone who you're either going to be introduced to or you'll meet someone and I think they're going to be a really, really important person in your life. They're going to be a help to you. Um, yeah, this isn't a love connection I'm seeing here once again. Um, I know this card can be about that, but it's about you hesitating because that's what this knight's doing he's hesitating um and possibly missing out on something and this is telling you not to hesitate go to this thing don't miss out on this thing i think someone has some very helpful information for you um you might have some kind of problem i don't know if this is a health problem or if this is an emotional problem, or it might be a combination of the two. Um, someone has some information to help you, someone has the knowledge to help you, and they also have the willingness to help you with whatever this is. And they're going to offer this to you freely. So say yes to this event. Um, I'm getting getting this feeling you really want to stay at home in your pajamas or whatever, but um, don't do that. Go to this thing, go to this thing. It's going to be really, really good for you, a positive thing for you. So, yes, the next card you have for your future is the devil. Yes, the ugly old devil. Um, okay, so again, you're in something that you shouldn't be in, and you've been in it for too long. Again, this is giving me the same message. You have some kind of strong tie to this person who's hot and cold, this split personality person. Whether this is that you have a fear of the unknown, if you get out of this, if you let them go, or whether you're kind of holding out, waiting for that window in the Five of Pentacles to turn into a fire. Please don't do that. It's not going to turn into a fire. This is the devil. Now, I'm not saying they're the devil. <laughs> you might think they are um, at times when you're really angry with them. I'm not saying they're the devil. I'm not saying they're evil or whatever. But 
they must be getting something out of having you on a string like that. Anyone who loves another person doesn't want to see them out in the cold, in the snow, waiting for a tiny bit of passion, a tiny bit of affection. No one wants to do that to someone they love. No one. And they're letting this happen. They're letting you go through this if this is resonating. Do not let them do this. I know I said I wasn't going to say any more about this person, but they keep on coming up again and again. And the devil card says it all. It's the ultimate card for showing you to get away from something that you feel stuck to. So again, that's all I'll say about that. So the last card you have for your future is the Five of Cups. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't mean this to be negative. I really, really don't. But um, if you do get away from this person, it is going to take time. It is going to be difficult, but it is going to be worth it to get away from this person. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough because you're, you're a feeler. You feel things. You have very deep emotions, very, very deep emotions. And so when there's hurt, you feel it very deeply. And I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, you're not going to feel it, it's going to be fine. You are going to feel it, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Maybe that's what you're afraid of. You're afraid of feeling this hurt. But if you stick in this situation, you're only prolonging the hurt. You're still going to have this exhausting backward and forward, hot and cold thing with a split personality. And eventually you're going to have to move on from it because it's not sustainable. And then the hurt will come at some later date. So please try and do it now. I'm Aries, I know I do things quickly. If I'm not happy, I'm out, that's it. I know you're not like that. But just think about what I'm saying. If this is all resonating with you, you're in a situation that you need to get out of that you're in for too long. That's what I'm seeing there. I won't say any more about that. Um, but you have some real connections in front of you if you're willing to do this, some real, real connections. Um, and that's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. So I won't say any more, Cancer. I hope this resonated. Um, but you know, general readings, as you know, can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like, please subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. You don't have to, I don't mind. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching.